The potential energy of a particle is given by u as a function of x and y is kx squared plus y squared, where k is a constant. Find part 1, the force associated with this potential energy, and part 2, the work done by an external conservative force to move the particle from the origin to point p x equals 1, y equals 2 at a constant speed. Assume that the particle has an initial speed. Okay, so in order to find the force associated with the potential energy, the ex conservative forces have a relationship between the potential energy minus gradient of uh, the potential energy. This is minus partial derivative of the potential energy with respect to x i hat minus partial derivative with respect to y j hat for a two-dimensional uh, case. So this will give me minus 2kx i hat minus 2ky j hat and the force will be minus 2k parentheses x i hat plus y j hat. <clears throat> Part 2. The potential energy at x equals 0, y equals 0, if you substitute x equals 0 and y equals 0 here, is 0. The potential energy at x equals 1, y equals 2, is basically 1 square plus 2 square. So that will give us 5. K times 1 plus 4, which is 5K. Now, the work done uh, by this force F will be equal to uh, minus the change in the potential energy. Why? Because it's a conservative external force. So this will be equal to initial potential energy minus final potential energy, which is minus 5k. Therefore, uh, the work done by uh, the conservative force is equal to minus 5k. Uh, and if we are moving this particle in this uh, potential with an external force, the work done by the external uh, force will be, so this is internal, plus 5k. And we have no change in the kinetic energy of the system. The particle moves at constant speed. So this is at a constant speed. And uh, we have applied the work potential energy theorem.